I'm here in the South. I'm in rural Alabama. Okay. Um, we're, our, we're in Tennessee. So we're in the you're South. You're in Tennessee. Here. Okay. I thought you were also Southern. Yes. Okay. Do you know Dungeons and Dragons? I n- not only through Stranger Things. Oh, only Stranger through Stranger Things. Okay, they so love Stranger to play Things it. Comes in. Yes. We, we've had this discussion that there was a, a, a Middle Earth role playing book in the house that I was given, which was a role play. It's not Dungeons and Dragons. It's a different role playing game. It was Middle Earth. So it's based on Tolkien and stuff like that. And the uh, it described the orcs in there as being demonic forces, as mm-hmm. worshiping the darkness. Um, uh, th- th- I remember this phrase being very contentious in my house. My father was very anti this phrase because it was talking that th- this book, this talks about orcs and how they worship darkness. Mm. So I'm wondering about our relationship with that because w- we've argued this on this channel a couple of different ways, because in one way, if this is talking about the worship of darkness, then you wouldn't want it in your house. Yes. Like, let, let's get this up. But on the other hand, this is talking, that is the enemy. That is yes. the demonic force. And it is telling you up front directly that they are worshiping the darkness. And what is your appropriate relationship with the orcs in the game? They are your enemies. You are to have a combative relationship with this. So I, I my, my father clearly took a, if this talks about worshiping the darkness, it needs to not be in the house. Other people would talk about, well, it's appropriately telling you the place of the worship of darkness as mm-hmm. something that is evil as something that is you are supposed to combat as the forces of good as you are it's not it's not telling you to be that it's telling you that yeah. is something that you are supposed to and so we have talked about that on on a variety of different levels with different people what is your opinion on that i think okay i mean all things depend on the age of a kid or whatever but i think i think it's good like if it's truly a fantasy tale and i understand people get weirded out if there's like witches and stuff like that i mean you know each person needs to decide what they're comfortable with or not. Um, but when they when they are truly depicted as an evil force, like you know without a shadow of a doubt, these are the bad people. I actually think those are good tells. Uh, th- again, they're, they're those high fantasy morality tells that are showing you this is bad, this is good, don't do this, or don't be this, be this. So I, I think those stories are great. Again, I grew up, uh, I, I've said before, I can't remember a time in my life that I didn't have uh, Jesus and Star Wars. <laughs> and so I grew up with Star Wars. And I mean, that's what it is. It is good versus evil. It is light versus darkness. And in Lord of the Rings, when I watched it, that's what it was really what it was really the morality and the symbolism in Lord of the Rings that grabbed me and really stayed with me and made me think. And then I wanted to go back and rewatch it. Uh, because we need tales like that that show good versus evil. When when I was recounting the history of orcishness, and I was trying to think about what that means in the with our society, you know, we have this phrase, which I think is very important and very true. We do not want to demonize someone. Mm-hmm. You know, because and we're and in this case, I'm taking the word demonize very literally and let's say theologically we're talking about we're talking about evil with the capital e you don't want to demonize someone we're talking about the demoniacal here because Mm -hmm. we're talking about humans and humans aren't demons yeah so you don't want to demonize someone so we're taking this in a much more strict sense than than might be just bantered around but that the opposite should all I, i wonder if the opposite should also be true i'm kind of thinking that it is what happens when you humanize the demonic? Mm. What happens when you take something that is a representation of a demonic force, which it seems like uh, through, and I'm, I'm looking at the change of orcs over the decades, that if you take them as a representation of the demonic, and then later culturally, we end up with a situation where we don't want to say that the orcs are demonic, and so we end up changing them into another type of person and human, Yes. Are we humanizing the demonic? Yes, that is an amazing point. That was a great, uh, great question. Absolutely. Like we are de- like we are humanizing the demonic. Again, back to these shows uh, that I mentioned and, and movies too. It's not just TV. Uh, they want society to look at whether they really realize that or not. And I think some of them do. They want people to watch the show and say, this is humanity. And, and, and really it's demonic, it's evil, 
it's it's perverted, it's twisted, it's wrong. And they're trying to make us think this is normal. This is what humans are like. And, you know, back to, again, my, my dissertation, uh, my belief is from my Christian perspective is that true humanness to truly be human uh, is to be godly because we were made in his image. It was only as a, due to the fall that we fell and, be, you know, turn inward, ended up operating in, in evil forces and being very easily twisted. But my point being is to be human does not mean to be evil, demonic, twisted. That is a perversion of how God created us in God's image. So, uh, so you think human nature is good? It, it is fundamental nature is good then? Well, I would say it was before the fall. Now, after the this is how I would say it: before the fall, when God created us. Our, our heart's inclination was towards God, to have a relationship with God, to know God, and therefore to become like God, to be like God. Uh, as a result of the fall, due to separation, uh, our inclination was no longer directed towards God. It was kind of inward. It became very self-absorbed. How do I gratify myself instead of how do I please my God? And when, when we focus on self and our society is obsessed with self, uh, that leads down a downward path. It's not an upward path. It's a downward path uh, because it's it's led by selfish ambitions that aren't noble. Uh, okay. Hey, let's let's go to J James. James says, I, I know there have been lots of comments and we're going to get some other things, but let's say James, let, let's, let's see James here. It says, if I can get a bit deep for a moment regarding demons, what say you about Christ showing mercy to Legion and casting them out into the pigs at their request and not expelling them from the area? Well, for whatever reason, uh, God has allowed them demons and Satan this time to pretty much do their best, so to say, uh, because that time is coming. I would say this, that Jesus was merciful because he knows their time is coming where they they will no longer be able to roam the earth, but will from revelation be cast into hell for eternity and never be able to mess with God's people again. Uh, the, I want, uh, I, 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 this idea, when I got to the end of, of the, the history of orcishness and I got to this idea of the potential of the humanization of the demonic, that, that really got to me and I haven't thought through all of its implications yet, but mm -hmm. I can see that in a lot of places that yeah. where you have situations where, if you're going to accept the demonic exists, like mm -hmm. I said, I do come at this from the atheistic perspective. So, but, but mm -hmm. if you're going to accept that something is the demonic, something like the demonic exists, then you have a certain position for it. And it should be just as much of an anathema to demonize a human as it should be to humanize the demonic. And that's why when I see those stories, which represent evil as evil, I'm like, well, okay, well, there's age appropriate nature and something like that we talked about, but uh, aside from age appropriate stuff, yeah. you're like, well, at least that's a, um, an upfront representation of evil or the demonic. Yes. And there's another way that like, well, isn't evil just cool or yeah. can't you just, you know, the demonic is something that makes you cool. Yes. Yeah. And, and that's where like, uh, I, you know, I use breaking bad, but, but they really, that really is a, a, it ended the way it had to, it was a tragedy. It was supposed to be kind of a warning tale. It was, it was that, but you do find so many characters today that are truly bad, like they're not good. They're, they they do bad things all the time, and they're who we're supposed to look up to, and uh, I would I don't want to use the word worship, but but look up to and admire, and that's just not good. 